slain in Jesus. Amen. Glad to be here. circles around me and my eyes they can but the thing is God's called me to preach that's right and I'm going to preach there you go come on amen amen so uh, I pray you know I I, I just want to give you a word to help you amen to encourage you that's what the word's supposed to do sometimes it even rebukes you amen even when it rebukes you it's to help you that's right amen so though it rebukes me so if y'all would, go with me to the uh, book of John, chapter 1. John 1. Let's read the first verses here, first 10 verses. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. Amen. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. Amen. Amen. Y'all can be seated. The world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He's made everything. Everything that we see. Come on, brother. Everything that we touch was made by Him. And I know you have a lot of things in here that's made by by uh, human hands. You know that you got like the, the altars and things. That, you know it's all been altered, but everything right. that is there has been made from right. God. There's nothing that there's nothing that you can make that you ain't gonna be using what God has already made. That's right. That's right. right. I know. There was some uh, there was some men one time, this is kinda of, I'm I'm just gonna tell this little story. There was some men one time that came to God. Okay. There were some men that came to God and said, We wanna we wanna go head to head with you. We wanna make a human. And they said God said, All right, let's go ahead. We'll we'll have a little competition. So they was getting ready and he said, Wait got to make your own dirt first. <laughs> you got to start from scratch the same way that I did. The same way that I, you got to start from the very beginning of it. Listen, the, what, who is made? Listen, every one of us, we've been made by God. Yeah. Every one of us, we are made. Man was made in God's image. You know, they, they, they talk about how, how did we form? You know, was, did we come out of the sea? Did we cry out of the sea? Or was we a, was we a, 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 a monkey? Did it, what, what was we? Listen, it's not, it's, not, it's not hard to understand. The Word said, somebody said, where does man, or, what's the origin of man? Bible says that we was made in His image. We was made in His image. We are the very image of who He wanted us to be. We, are, we, we look the way that He wanted us to look. But what has man done? They take it and said, I was born man, but I want to be something else. They're trying to get away from the very image of what God created them to be. They try, they're, trying to, they're trying to take something and, and make it something else so that they can get away from the very thing, the only thing that can save them. What is It's just like a rebellious kid. When, when a parent says, do this, do that, no, I want to do the opposite. I, I, don't want you to, I don't want you to talk about my sin. I don't want you to, uh, to look on me and see anything. I, I want to make my own way. Yeah, that's the on. world. Yeah, that's right. We're come living on. in a world right now where they want to make their own way. That's right. Come on, brother. They want to serve their own gods. Uh -huh. 
And this right here is the God that they have. It's themselves. That's right. But I, 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 I was made. I was made. I was specifically designed yeah. to praise Him. That's right. Somebody said, what is the whole, what, what's the purpose of man? The Bible says the, 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 to serve God, to, to fear God. It, it, that's everything in Ecclesiastes. It says our whole purpose is to fear Him. To, to keep His commandments. Oh, it's, it, that's our duty. Yeah. That's the image that we was made of. Right. Uh, what we was formed to. Yeah. As He formed us in His hands, He did. wanted Come us on. to praise Him. He wanted us to magnify Him. On, he yeah. wanted us to lift His name up. Yeah. He wanted us to preach to them. Listen, uh, He didn't give this to the angels. Listen, the angels, oh. when they came, there wasn't nothing they could do but just say, hey, God's on your side Come and on. deliver a message. But when it came to the preaching, listen, when it came to the Word of God, He wanted it to come a certain way. Yeah. Who did He want it to come by? He wanted it to come by man. Yeah. He wanted come it to on. come by somebody that was down here living in the world. He wanted it to come by somebody that knew what struggles was. Listen, right. He wanted it to come by somebody that knew what life was. When He came, He done it, and He showed us just exactly how to do it. Come on. Amen. We was made by Him. Yes. We was made by Him. Listen, He don't make trash. Amen. Right. Sometimes we get so down on ourselves. Yes. Sometimes we get so down on ourselves, Brother J.R. Right. Listen, we get down on ourselves, but listen, we're made in His image. He made us from dirt. I know that. I know it. And because of that, we need to not think so highly of ourselves because we was made from dirt. But we're still yet made in His image. Right. We were still yet endowed. We, we were still yet made in the image of God. That's we right. was made to praise Him. That's our only job. Yeah, Somebody right. said, well, what about this? Don't you do that water stuff down the road? But listen, I was made. I was made to praise yeah. Him. Listen, yeah. well, don't you serve me on the ground? Yeah. But listen, I was made to praise Him. Aren't you like a school teacher or something like that? Come listen, on. it don't matter. You was made Amen. to praise Him. Right. What Come is on. your? What is the thing in this life that you was made for? That's right. Come on. To you was made him. to praise Him. That's right, brother. Come on. Yes. You was made to praise Him. Yeah. Listen, He made Adam in the garden. He wanted to. What, what did He do? He walked with Him. Walked he with talked him. with Him. He, he communed with Him. But He saw the Adam. And everything that he done, everything that he done, it just wasn't enough for Adam. Listen, he said, I got to do something else. So he made him a woman. Listen, and no matter what, no matter what, from the very beginning of time, it has never been good enough. It has never been good enough. God has done everything for us. He has done everything for us. He's gave us help. He's gave us food. He's gave us raiment. And we still yet, listen, what have we done? He gave us all kinds of things. I know it sounds funny. He gave us all kinds of animals Amen. to even get milk from. That's right. And we took and we said we want milk from almonds. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. What did we do? Yeah. We said we're, we're trying to get away from everything yeah. that God has created. But listen, we were made in His image. We were made to praise Him. We were made to loud Him. And we've taken everything yeah. and everything that He has given us we have taken it and destroyed it. Amen. Yeah. That's right. Why? Because of the sin. That's right. Amen. But we was made. We was made. What was your purpose? To praise God. People, people want to know what their purpose. They got to have a purpose. <laughs> yeah. People want to have a purpose in life. And a purpose. Yeah. They, you know, and, and they make purposes. Uh -huh. If you ain't got a purpose, just go look out there in this world, and you can find just anything that might aggravate you, and you can make it your sole purpose to to be a right fighter, to be to be some kind of a yeah. some kind of a some uh, what are they called the protesters, the activists. You can be you can be anything. But listen, that's they're thinking that that's what their purpose is. Listen, they're thinking this is what I was made for. But no, listen, we was made to praise God. Yeah. We was made to magnify yeah, Him. We was made That's right. specifically to worship Him. That's, That's right, right, amen. And to, to speak His name. Amen. Listen, we, we wasn't made to sin. No, we wasn't. When He made us, He didn't make us to sin. He didn't, he didn't make us to sin. 
He wanted us to live in righteousness. He wanted us to live in the garden. He wanted us to live like that. He wanted us. He didn't. He, it wasn't his will, but granted, yeah, he knew what we was going to do, but that ain't what we do, that ain't what we done. Come on, he made. He knew. Yeah. And he still yet made us. He did. Because he loved us. Yes, he did. He loved us. He loved us down through time. Listen, he gave himself for us. Yes, he did. He gave himself for us. Yeah. Yes, he did, brother. But that's why we were made. Listen, we've got a stamp on us. Yes, we do. You can look, you look at any toy out there in this world, any toy, and on the bottom, sometimes it's on the foot of it, it'll have a maker's stamp. Uh-huh. It'll have a little mark, a little copyright. It'll say made by Mattel, yeah. or made by this, or made by that, or made in China, or this or that. Or, yeah. You know, it's made well, somewhere. Yeah. Now, listen, I, I, I want to have one thing stamped on me. I want to have one thing that is molded yeah. on me. Yeah. I want to have one thing yeah. that says made by this or made in this, and I want it to say Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. That's what I want it to say. Yeah. I want that to be my mark. That somebody can see and say he was made by Jesus. Listen, that's what he was made by. He was made for this. Listen, I wasn't made for sin. That ain't why, that ain't what my, my purpose is not sin. My purpose ain't the guitar. Listen, even the good things out there that people can do, there, there's just icing on the cake that God said, I'm going to allow you to do this as long as you magnify me, as long as you praise me. I'll let you do these things as long. Come on, amen. Yes. Do you That's right. As long. Give him glory. Thank you, Lord. As you praise me. That's right. Because that's what you was made for. That's right. You was made to lift him up. Come on. But Satan gets on us and he says, you, you've got so much more purpose. No, you can do this. These singers out there, there's singers out there that some of them has chose to sing some of the worst things. Yeah. that you could ever hear. I ain't even talk. So if you listen to some of the music back in the 50s and 60s, people was offended by it back then. Yeah. And it ain't nothing compared to the Amen. things you hear today. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Right. It's nothing. Listen. Every bit of it is self-glorifying. Yes, it right. Every yeah. bit of it. Every bit, every bit of, it. of it is picking themselves up. Yeah. Every bit of it. It ain't magnifying God. No, every right. bit of it. It seems like it's just it's picking themselves up. It's right. putting themselves on a pedestal. On, Listen, they, they that's the same thing that happened in the Tower of Babel. Yeah. They said we're going to build something. They said we're going to make something. Real. We're going to make something in our image. They said. They said we're going to build this tower and it's going to reach to the high. It's going to reach to the heavens. We're going we're yeah. to get up there right with the Lord. And the Lord saw them. He said, wait a minute. He said, I see that. I see that when they come together, even even unity in wrong can still yet cause things to happen. Even unity in a bad thing can still yet move mountains. Yes, it can. Come on, yes. brother. Right. Look at the whole political world. Uh-huh. It can move mountains. Yeah. So what happened? He took them. And he said, I'm going to take you and I'm going to I'm going to separate you. I'm going to confound your languages. I'm going to, listen, you forgot what you was made for. Yeah, so I'm going to separate you just to remind you that I'm the one that created you. Right. To remind you that I'm the reason that you was even made. Come so on. he took him and he separated him. Yes, he did. And he said, if you want to get back together, you're going to do it through the Spirit. Come on. You're going to do it through the Spirit. Come on. Listen, if you want to be able to talk to somebody that don't know your language, you're going to do it in the Spirit of God now. Amen. That's the only way you're going to come back together in the Spirit of unity. Amen. Listen, what, what is that Holy Ghost for? I'll tell you what, somebody that has the Holy Ghost, I believe they could go over into Africa and not even know a word what to say to them. And when the Spirit of God comes yeah. upon them, they can minister the same gospel yeah. in, in a language that they don't even know what they're talking about. Listen, that. there there is why we've been given something. We was given these things just so we can magnify God. Amen. Every bit of this was given. And we was made Come on. to praise Him. Come on. Yes. That is our divine purpose. It is, brother. Well, somebody said your divine purpose was to do this. No. No. Your purpose. Listen. If they look at your mark on you, if they look at your stamp on your feet, listen, little boys sometimes they'd get toys. I remember I'd write my name on them because I didn't want my neighbor kids to get my toys and think they was his. Amen. So I'd write my name on them. Yeah. Listen. 
That's Satan. He just, he just loves to counterfeit things and try to put his name on stuff. Come on. But listen, when you've got this inside of you, yeah. when you've got the Holy Ghost inside of you, you belong to God. Yeah. You was made for him. Listen, they can try to put any kind of curse they want to on you. They can, they can uh, make fun of you all they want, but you was made to serve and to worship the only living God. That's right. Come on. Bless him, That's Lord. why we were made. Amen. We were made to praise Him. It says He was in the world and the world was made by Him. And the world knew Him not. They don't want Him. Just, just the thought of God. Me and Daniel was talking on the way over here. We know, we know a lot of people that's went to the Yahweh stuff. You know, that's supposed to be Jesus people. Ain't nobody offended at the name of Yahweh. No. Ain't nobody, listen, ain't no devils being cast out by saying Yahweh. No. There's nobody, listen, there's nobody that's that, that, that that's saying, that if you go out there and you pray in the streets in the name of Yahweh, there's just that. I'm going to pray. That ain't going to be a power, right. man. Come on. Right. Ain't going to make no devils, man. You ain't. You ain't going to make nobody, man. But if you say the name of Jesus... And you, you start talking about how you got that stamp on you. Come on. How you got that seal on you. How you've been sealed with that name. Yes. You've been made by that name. Devil That's the name that you have on you. Yes. There, there's where they get a little upset. Come on. Amen. Devil's fear That's and tremble. Him, 1 Corinthians 3 Thank and 23 you, says, let me go back up. It says, For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God, for it is written, He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. And again, the Lord knoweth the thoughts of the wise that they are vain. Therefore, let no man glory in men. For all things are yours, whether Paul or Paul's or Cephas or the world or life or death or things present or things to come. All are yours. And ye are Christ. And Christ is God's. Come on, Listen, we, we belong to Christ. Christ belongs to God. I thought you was oneness. I am oneness. But listen, when you're oneness, you just take the word for what it says. If it says he's the Son of God, guess what? He's the Son of God. If it says he's the Holy Ghost, guess what? He's the Holy Ghost. If it says he's the Father, guess what? He's the Father. Because it says that he is all three of them, all wrapped into one. So listen, there's no use of even arguing about this stuff. That's right. Without controversy. Yeah, that's right. right. Without controversy, great is this mystery. That's right. Listen, we know who he is. Thank we know you. exactly who he is. We've got that name on us. But there's only one name. There's only one name that offends people. There's only one name that says to do everything in this one name. That's right, everything. Yeah. Come on. Everything. So this one stamp that I got on me, this one seal that I got on me, that's supposed to distinguish where I made that. Uh -huh. Listen, you go and you look, listen, sometimes, sometimes you look at some stuff and it says made in China on it and so, for some reason it falls apart on us. Yeah. Listen, it says made in China, it falls apart. Made in Taiwan, Taiwan, it falls apart. Even some of the things that says made in USA, guess what? They fall apart. Yeah. They, they, they're just going to last temporally. That's right. They're, 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 they're a temporal thing. But when you got that brand name, when you got that brand name. Amen. Everybody says, I want that brand name stuff. They don't want that counterfeit. Well, Jesus is that brand name. Amen. Jesus Come is on, that man. name. Amen. Jesus is that brand name. Listen, this don't wear out. Listen, I'm reading the Bible. It talks about how I, I, I guess that Moses had them brand name shoes when they was walking in the wilderness. Why? Because they didn't wear out. Why? They, they kept on walking. For 40 years they was lost. Yeah. And they just kept on walking. And it says that their shoes didn't wear out. That's right. Come on. Bless them, Lord. That's right, brother. I wear shoes out all the time. Uh -huh. They didn't. They was walking in the desert. They was in the wilderness. But they had something in them shoes. Come on. They had a name. Listen. It said made in Jesus. It said made because of Jesus. Huh? And it was even in the Old Testament. But guess what? He was still there. And there was still a name. There was still a name back then. There was still a name that was above all names. Listen, there was still a name. There was still a name that you've got to be made by. Listen, you would got to be made in that name. That's right, brother. Come on. Where was you made at? Come on, brother. 
Where was he made at? Listen, the Bible talks about, it talks about people that have exercised themselves uh -huh. to discern good and evil. Yeah. There, there's what makes you. What, what, what are you made in, in the Word of God? You, you, you're made in the Word of God. Yeah. That's what you're made in. Come on. There, yeah. there is what, listen, there, there is what makes you is the life that you live in this right here. There, there is what makes you, what makes you, what, what causes you to be that, that, that Christian that people look to. It's because you're standing on the Word of God, even in the face of adversity, yeah. even when you're standing against the things that are out there in this world, yeah. the things that knock most people down, you're still yet standing. That's, That's how right. you know when they're made. That's how you know when they're made in Jesus Christ because they're still yet standing. That's right. Amen. Come on. Even when the world tries to knock us down. Uh-huh. Even when they shut us down, when they do this or they do that, listen, we still got a name. Amen. We still got a name that's above every name. Amen. We were made in Him. Thank you, Jesus. We were forged in Him. Come on. Listen, this right here is what forged us. This word right here has forged us and caused us. Yeah. It has made us into the people that He wants us to be. Yeah. That's right. And I thank God for that long suffering. Listen. That's right. I fell down. Amen. I have fell, fallen down so many times. On, but the thing, thing is, you get back up. That's you right. You get back up. That right there is what you do. If you got that name on you, guess what you do? You get back up. Amen. You keep on getting up. Amen. If you fall again, you get back up. Amen. And you keep on. And what do you, what do, you do when you get up? Come you on. dust yourself off. Yeah. You dust yourself off. Listen, when Jesus picked him up, when Jesus picked old Mary Magdalene up, he said, go and sin no more. Come but on. if you do, guess what? you got an advocate with the Father, yeah. Jesus Christ, the righteous. Come he on. is the propitiation for our sins and not for ours. Only for the sins of the whole world. Amen. Listen, I thank God that we got long suffering. I I thank God that I was made in Him. I thank God that I was made yes. to, to praise Him, to magnify yes. Him. That's yes. my purpose. That's that's my joy. Yes. Everything that I got is made yes. in Him. Yes. Yes. We've got to be made by Him. Yeah. yeah. That's the only way we can stand in this world. Right, bro. That's the only thing. Listen, there's churches right now that say they got the name of Jesus. They've not opened their doors day one since this virus came Amen. in. They've not opened their doors. Right. Listen, I can't, we can't live in fear. That's we right. can't let fear be what drives us. Listen, yeah. if, if you've got that name on you, that fear is not what can rule you. If you've got that name on you, listen, everything in the world, they're trying to push the doubt on us and the fear and all these things saying, woe is me, woe is me. Listen, but when you've got that name on you, when, you, when you've been Hello. made in Jesus... Amen. You can stand. Yes, yeah, you will. Yeah. You will yeah. stand. You will stand. That's right. Yeah. Right. We can stand because of Him. That's right. right. That's the only. That's the only way I can stand. Amen. Is because of Him. Amen. That's right. Romans five eighteen says, "Therefore, as by the offense of one." Judgment came upon all men. Verse, this is verse 18. 5 and 18. By one man, uh -huh. judgment came upon all men. The condemnation. Even so, by the righteousness of one, the free gift came upon all men unto justification of life. For as by one man's disobedience, many were made sinners. Yeah. Because of disobedience, a lot of people was made sinners. Yeah, come on. So by the obedience of one, come on. by the obedience of one, shall many be what? <laughs> made. Shall right. many be made righteous. Yes. Shall many be made righteous. Right. I'll tell you what, we was made righteous. Yeah. By, by one man, we was made righteous. Right. There was on. one that said, that, you know what, I'm going to I'm gonna make everybody unrighteous by this name, by that first man. Yeah. By that first man, there, he said, I'm going to make everybody unrighteous. Yeah. But then here came another man. And by one man, it says many was made, made righteous. Yeah. Listen, we've been made by the Word of God. Yeah. We've been made by what He died on the cross of Calvary. Hey, we've yeah. been made. Yeah. Listen, we have been made. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Right, we've been brother. formed. Yeah. Listen. We've been formed. 
I've said this many times. What does it take? It takes pressure to make a quarter or any kind of penny, yeah. any kind of any kind of, any kind of uh, uh, metal money out there. It takes pressure and it takes heat. Yeah. They put a, they put that pressure and they put that heat. And when it comes out, it's got a stamp in it, and it says, "In God we trust." That's the best thing on the money. Yes, it is. That's the best thing on the money. Yes, it is. Listen, the Bible says for the love. It don't say money is the root of all evil. No. It says for the love of money. Love of Why? Because money is an animal object. Yes. Money ain't got no life in it. It ain't got nothing in it. It ain't That's got right. no power in it. That's but right. the power that people Come put on. in it. Amen. Amen. Come on. But that one thing it says in God we trust. And it took that pressure. Yeah. It took that pressure and that heat to make it. That's right. Brother. That's us. Listen. That's us. The pressure that we deal with in this life, Amen. that's what makes Amen. us. That's what makes us. That's, that's how we're able to stand. That's how we're to keep on going. Paul said, Paul said on every single side that we face us, there's trouble. Yes, they are. And distress. Yes, they are. Amen. Trouble and distress and heartaches. Everybody in here suffered heartache at one time or another. Amen. Everybody in here suffered stress and anguish. But every bit of it, though on every single side we've been distressed, still on every single side the Lord's been right there. He's been right there the whole time. Oh, yeah. And I'm still on your side because I made you. I made you in my image. I made you in my image. Why did I do that? Because I wanted you to worship me. I wanted you to magnify me. Amen. Amen. Because of one man, one man, this world went downhill quick. From the very beginning. From the very beginning. From the very beginning. Sometimes I'll go and set a spad right in the face. I'll put that spad in the pointer right in the face. And that's what they're supposed to drive by underground. And they'll take that spad that I just now set that's just as fresh as the as a newborn baby. And they'll still yet cut it off. Still yet they'll veer it left. Yeah. But they'll veer it right. Why? Because in mankind, it is just inherent. It is just inherent to be evil. It's inherent to do wrong. Yeah. It, it takes the Holy Ghost to be right. able to combat this stuff. Right. It takes the Spirit of God to be able to stand by this stuff. It takes the Spirit of God to be able to get in us and to make us into who He wants us to be. If I didn't have the Spirit of God well within me, I could be just like anybody else. You telling me that you could be a homosexual? I could be just as gay as anybody out there in this world without the Holy Ghost. I could be a pedophile without the Holy Ghost. I could be a murderer without the Holy Ghost. That's why it's so important to have it. Amen. Amen. You got to be made by the Word of God. Yeah. You got to be born again. Yeah. Listen. The lost people, the, the, the homosexual out there, they said they was born that way. I said, yes, you was. You was born in the sin. You was Amen. born in it. Amen. Yeah. You got to be born again. Amen. You got to be born again. Amen. It don't matter how you began. It stuck from the very beginning. Adam, from the very beginning, we've yep. been bad. That's right. And it takes that spirit of God to correct it. Yes, it does. It takes that spirit of God to correct it. Amen. Amen. Listen, every now and again, I just done one other day. Every now and again, my eyes, I'm 39 years old. I look through that transit and I push them spads up in the face. Every now and again, I gotta go underground and do a check survey. The check survey tells me how far I drifted. It tells me how far I got off projections. And I'll, I'll go and I'll take it to my CAD guy outside. He'll put it in the computer. He'll say, Daniel, you were shooting him straight the whole way, wasn't you? Shooting him straight. He said, you still yet drifted off three feet. Yeah. And i got to go and take and do corrections. Yeah. That's the Word of God. Yeah. i got to go no matter how good that I think I am. The Bible says that my righteousness is as filthy rags. Yeah. You know what filthy rags is? That's menstrual cloths. That's what that is. Yeah. It's bloody menstrual cloths that's full of the dirt. Yeah. It's full of all kinds of things. That's what my righteousness is. But His righteousness is good. His righteousness is peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. That's what His is. His is just full of righteousness. Yes, amen. And when I go back to it, when I do a correction, I can go back and I can sit them spads where they need to be. That's what I do. It's what my job is. 
My job is to keep people straight underground, and then as a preacher, I'm supposed to keep people straight outside. Amen. Yeah. And myself included. That's right. Amen. Brother. That's right. It's all right, brother. That's what you got to do. Yeah. You got to go back and go back and go back. And when I walk a little bit, when I walk a little bit and I start veering off, i got to go back again. Why? Because I was made by Him. And that's the only choice that I have. The only choice that I have. I can't go to the psychiatrist who's going to tell me, do this and do that and do this and do that. i got to go to the Word of God. Why? Because that's who I was made by. Come on. I was made by Him. Why else would I go to anybody else? Who's got the blueprints, J.R.? Who's got the very blueprints that formed us and made us and declared who we were? Who's got the very power? Who's got the very power? There ain't nobody but Jesus. There ain't nobody else in this world that can pick us up when we're down. Amen. Chicken soup for the soul ain't going to do it. That's right. All them self-help books out there. That's garbage. Amen. That's money. That's people making money, making making gain off of you. It's people making gain off who you are. Yes. Amen. That's what they do. They make merchandise off of us. Right, brother. That's right. They make merchandise off our guilt. That's why the green stuff is that big. Uh -huh. You're guilty. You're destroying this planet. Oh, let me throw money at you. Yeah. So I can have a different color light bulb. Come on, yeah, brother. come on. Every bit of it is them trying to get to us to tell us that what God created ain't good enough. Right. But what He made is good. Amen. Listen, everything in this world was made. It said it's for the king, it's for the prophet of the kings. Everything in this world come on. was made for us. It was made for us. Yeah. And we was made for Him. That's right. This stuff was made for us to use. Amen. You tell me you can use every bit of it. God knows exactly how long it's going to be before He comes. You want to be worried about a global warming? The Bible says that He's going to purge the world with fire. It says that He's going to purge it. This whole world's going to burn down to the foundation. That's the only global warming that we need to be concerned with. Because there ain't nothing that we can do to what God has made. Why? Because it was made by Him. Amen. Come on. That's good, brother. It was made by Him. There ain't nothing that we can do to destroy this world. Amen. It's already been, it's already got its time. It's already ordained to win its over. It's ordained to win its over. We was made by Him. We was made for Him. We was made to, to allow Him, to praise Him, yeah. and to worship Him. Yes, amen. That's our only purpose. That's right. Yeah. That's the only purpose we've got. Amen. Everything else that God allows us to do is icing on the cake. Amen. That's all it is, icing. All it is. It's icing. Come on. I, heard, I listened to your message that night. I wasn't there at church. So I listened to it. You talked about how your wife, your children, they're just, they're loaned to you. Without without God, but listen, this stuff is just us. This is just us to take care of uh, while we're here. Yes. Because the Lord knows we need the Lord knows we need companion that we can touch, Amen. that we can feel. Amen. He knows that. Amen. He saw that from the beginning. Yes, he did. He saw that from the beginning. This is why we were made to worship him. He allows us to experience other stuff. He allows us. But we was made for Him. That's our only purpose. To preach. All of us as preachers. Some of us is right here behind the pulpit. Some of us is told to go out and preach like this. But every one of us is ordained to be a minister to somebody out there that's lost and done and dying in this world. Because that's our, that's our goal is to reach somebody. There is nothing better than them pe seeing them people feel with the Holy Ghost. Right. That's right. Amen. Come on. There is nothing better than seeing somebody to repent. That's right. right. There is nothing better. Amen. 
Listen, if we, we, we look at, we look at, I was telling Brother Daniel on the way over here, I said, when we start looking at the gospel as though what can I preach to wow people without realizing, if I preach the same message over and over again, wow. if I, and that's what's needed, yeah. that's what's needed. If i got to preach the same thing over and over again, then that's what's needed. Amen. Amen. That's right. That's right. I ain't talking about laying a foundation over and over again. I'm just talking about how still yet we'll go and the Lord won't let us get off onto another subject. Why? Because He needs us to drive something home. Yeah. We got to, yeah. listen, we're not preaching anything new. No. This right here, I'm preaching the same thing that they preach. That's, That's right. right. And if I start preaching something new, God help me. That's right. This right here is all I know. That's right. Come on. I was made by Him. Amen. I was made for Him. That's my only purpose. That's right, brother. Everything else leads me astray. Everything else causes me to get my eyes off of him. I've got a lot more verses and I ain't going to get to them, I know. I keep on doing it. Yes. All right. you know, having more verses and we'll be here on that. So Y'all know I'm not very long-winded. Colossians 1 says, Verse 14, let me go back. Who hath, 13, who hath delivered us from the power of darkness yeah. and hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear son in whom we have redemption through his blood, even yeah. the forgiveness of sins, who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature, for by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him, and he is before all things, and by him all things consist. That's right, consist. That's right. Every bit of this. That's right. Every bit of this. That's right, brother. Is about him. Somebody said that the sun is the center of the galaxy. And the world just everything just floats around it. And that's the center. Oh no. <laughs> maybe by the astronomy, uh, maybe by that. God said it right there. But there's only one that everything in this world revolves around. There's only one that everything in this world praises Him. There's only one. Listen, the Bible says that if we don't praise Him, it says the rocks is going to praise Him. It says the rocks will praise Him. Listen, I read in the Bible where a donkey once spoke. I read, it just spoke. And it, and it forbade the madness of the prophet. Yeah. It forbade. It said, listen, don't you know what you're doing? Don't you know what you're running to? Come on, everybody. Yeah. That's right, brother. Every bit of this was made to magnify God. That's right. Every bit of it points back to Him. Amen. If they want to uh, 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 take man and break us down to the DNA, and they look down to the smallest molecules, even it's no doubt praising God. Even it's no yeah. doubt raising something. Yeah. Listen, the, the, the trees, they yeah. say the trees, the, the leaves will turn up when the rain comes. Somebody said it's because they're expecting the rain. I said it's because they're praising God. That's why they're lifting their hands up. They're lifting the only thing they got to lift up to get a hold of the very thing that created them. Yeah. Amen. Amen, brother. I believe that. He made them. He made them to praise Him. That's right. And this world has gotten so far away from praising Him. Amen. They can care less. They'll praise one another. Uh-huh. They sure will. They'll praise one another. Come on, brother. Listen, they'll praise, they'll praise, they'll praise the movie stars and they'll put them up on a pedestal like what they say matters. Yeah. And they ain't there for nothing but to entertain people. That's right. This right here right. is here to magnify God. That's right. Amen and to pick us up yeah. in due season. That's what it does. It picks us up. Yes, yeah, sir. It lifts us up. How many times have y'all been downhearted and you went to the Word and it right. gave you the encouragement? Amen. How many times? Why? Because you went back to what you was Amen. made to do. Amen. You was made to do this. You was made to search this out. Hallelujah. You was made to seek after Hallelujah. this. Everything in this yes, causes Lord. you. It just makes you and it beckons you and it begs you to search me. To search me. Yeah. Search me. Come on, brother. Yeah. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. That's what it says. Yeah. Bless Bless Lord. Lord. That's our purpose. Yeah. 
Our children, that's their purpose. There's a reason the Bible says train up a child in the way of the Lord and he'll not depart. There's a reason that it says to, to, to somebody said, well, it says to beat him. It says, yeah. it says he that spareth the rod. It don't say spoil it. It says hate it. Hate him. Hate him. Hate him. Hate him, his son. Why? Because you don't care what he's going to turn into. That's, That's right. right. Come on. Don't care what he's doing. You don't care what he's doing. That's right. Why do you think God chastises us? Because He loves us. The same reason that we chastise our children. Listen, He made us. He made us and He knows exactly what we need. And I'm getting, if I'm getting out of line, He knows exactly what to say to me. Why? Because He made me. That's right. Come on. I can look at my children and I know what they're thinking before they even say it. Come on, brother. Because I had a hand. In them, yeah. I may, I, I ain't the one that put the life in their bodies, but I had a hand in it. Yeah. I had a hand in them being here. Come on, brother. Like but God you. made them. Uh, listen, like you. listen. Like you. We was made for this. Yes, we was. This yeah. is our purpose. Yes, it is, brother. This is our purpose. Yes, it is. I believe that, brother. Amen. What, what does the What does Romans twelve is my favorite? One of my favorite verses. Yes. Present your body a living yes. sacrifice. Yes. Holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable yes. service. Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed, transformed by the renewing of your minds that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Amen. 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 Come on, brother. Every bit of it. It's a living sacrifice. Right. Yes. And it's holy and it's, accept it's acceptable right. unto Him. Right. Every bit of this is to praise right. Him. Right. Every bit of this is to magnify right. Him. There's a reason that the Bible, I started, I, I had to get my mind wrapped around this because I kept on, I was forced to take this job. I was forced to it because the guy that I've worked with for eight years, he got a, he got a uh, increase and they said, you're going to do this job. And they said, Daniel, guess what you're going to do? You're going to do his job. I said, I don't want his job. I said, I want my job. It comes with less responsibility and I ain't going to worry about as much. Yeah. They said, no. You're going to do it. And I got stressed. And I got stressed. And I got stressed. And I got stressed. And I got more stressed. And it just kept on hitting me. And I began to cry out. And I began to cry out. And then I thought for a minute. And I thought, wait a minute. The Bible says all things work together for the good of them who are the called according to His purpose. All things work together. So I got to think I said, God knows I can handle it. So guess what? I know that I can handle it too. Why? Because it works out for Him. Amen. That's, That's right. right. It ain't about me. That's right, brother. It's about Him. That's right. And if this, if this position causes me, if I do it right, it's supposed to cause me to get closer to Him. That's what it has. That's what it does. That's what it's going to do. Yeah. It's going to cause me to, to do something a little bit better. It's going to cause me to put a few more timbers up under my floor in the weak spots. That's what it's going to do because yeah. I was made for Him. Amen. Yes, amen. That was, that's it. I was made for Him. And all things work together. Listen. We was made for him. Yes, we was. We was made for him. That's it. Bless him, we was made for him. That's right. Jesus. We was made solely and for no other reason. But what about this? This is a good purpose. Feeding the children over there in Africa. That's a good purpose. Yeah. That's not what you was made to do. It's a good thing. Yeah. If you can do it, do it. Yeah. If you can feed them children over there, do it. Your purpose is to magnify God. Amen. Amen. And them little things show us, show that we magnify That's God. That's right. Amen. Listen, we're not, the, the works ain't what saves us. That's right. But the good works is what we do because we're saved. Come on. Amen. That's, that. the, that's the stuff that we do because, because we're saved. He made us That's right. to be in His image. That's, right. that's why we do the good things. Amen. If we do the good things to get a pat on the back, people do that? Do people do good things to get pats on the back? Oh, yeah. Do people fast and faint themselves? <laughs> Come on. Yeah. yeah. The Bible says, let my, let my thy right hand know what the left hand is doing. Yeah. It says to wash yourself. Your head. Anoint thy head. Amen. Don't let okay. people have been fasting for the Lord. That's right. I'm holy. 
That's not what we were made for. That's right. Come on. We was made to do it in secret. Amen. Right. And to magnify God. Amen. And to lift Him up. Yeah. And to allow Him. And to rejoice in Him. <laughs> That's our purpose. That is our one purpose. Is to magnify Him. Because I was made by Him. Amen, brother. And it's in His image that I want to live. Sometimes I look in that mirror. I don't see His image. That's why I got to mark up. That's why I got to go back to the Word and correct the things that's off. Amen. The only way I can do it is through and by the Word. Go back to the blueprints. Amen. That's all I got. Bless you.